Now this video is for slider and I finally got some success and I just used the uh, galvanized steel plates with the uh, activated charcoal, the uh, red match tip sulfur and the vinegar and then the piece of paper and then I just put it in the plastic there and I'm using a 5 volt uh, charging uh, USB charger and a little tiny motor and a little tiny load and it does work and this is not a galvanic battery and I am certain of that it might be a rechargeable battery but it's not a galvanic battery and it might just be a um, type of supercapacitor so I'm just calling this the sliders baby step supercapacitor um, I'm going to give this about 10 seconds here on the charge to see the red light come on there just a few seconds and it was hooked up and it wasn't moving and let me hook this up and watch her go and there it goes doesn't run very long that's why I'm calling this the baby step because I need that stainless steel screen and uh, possibly some other ingredients or another method but uh, this is a baby step toward where I want to go charge it up again few seconds and that's running a motor doesn't run very long <laughs> but like I say um, it's it, both plates are the same and the way uh, your last video showed the construction where you put the uh, slurry on each plate and then you put the uh, paper separator dipped in vinegar and then you encase it in plastic I am pretty darn sure we are not seeing a galvanic I think this is a rechargeable um, a redox rather uh, we, I think we're seeing a rechargeable battery of sorts or a supercapacitor effect because of the activated charcoal and there's actually a patent that was done way back when using the activated charcoal uh, with uh, a different electrolyte. But uh, there's the charge again. Here goes the little motor. Anyway, it's uh, way, way down in a small, small uh, farad rating. Um, and there is no voltage on this. When uh, when it's discharged, it just sits there, and uh, you can drop it down to zero, and it just sits there uh, around zero until you put the charge on it. And then uh, the other thing that I, that's a, a problem with what I've made here is this self discharges, and I don't like that at all. So you would need to go a long ways before you did any sort of uh, true statement that this is a real uh, double layer super capacitor but it's a baby step and I like what you said about that that this is a step toward the direction we want to go something that you can quickly charge up discharge and charge up and discharge and charge up and discharge over and over and over again and I think this is a good step in the right direction this is a uh, sliders uh, baby step super capacitor Go over to his website and he has a how-to on how to build it. Thanks.